Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, what I want to show you, which in this blog post, there's a couple of parts in it. I basically want to show you, walk you through the steps for, let's say, creating a dashboard. Okay, so the dashboard we want to create, right, is, and I'll just kind of give you a quick show here of it, so you can see it. It's going to look like this, right? And what we want to be able to do is, we've got our sales, our summarized sales here for different kinds of bikes, top 10 bicycles, and we want to be able to analyze it, let's say, by, you know, country, by year, do comparisons between different years and so on. Right. So that's essentially what we want to do for this one. Okay. So what we start off with, with our sales data, and then I go up here to table design. I go summarize a pivot table, and I'm going to create a new worksheet. And I'm going to create two pivot tables, all right? One of them has, let's say, um, product name. Let me just resize this a fraction so you can see it. And we're also going to have a um, sales amount and we're going to have it be analyzed by order date. Okay. And what I'm also going to do then is I'm also going to click on my field list over here. I'm going to remove the order date, the quarters, because I just want to end up with the years. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to reformat this, value field settings, reformat the numbers to currency. Okay, and then okay. And then the second thing I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to have this sorted in order of um, top 10. So click on value filters, see there it says top 10 by sales amount. Right. So it's starting to take shape. Now this what I want to do, remember I want to get the top 10 and the bottom 10. So I highlight my pivot table, control C, park it over here, control V. And what I do is I just change my row labels so that it goes to top 10. And I change it down here to the bottom 10 items. And click OK. All right. So here we go. It's starting to take shape at this point. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to add a slicer to this. OK, press escape on this. And I want to make sure the slicer is actually kind of plugged into both of them. So go here to pivot table, analyze, insert slicer. And I'm going to have it by sales territory name. And I click OK. Right. And once I got this done, I need to do two things with the slicer. I'm going to click on the sorry, click on the slicer again, and I go to report connections. But before I do that, I'm going to rename each of these pivot tables. Whoops. Okay. Because I want to be able to sure that I'm actually pointing it to the right one. So I click over here on pivot table analyze, and I right click here and I call this top ten demo. Okay, and then I also rename this one, click on it, pivot table, analyze, call this bottom 10. And if you notice there, no spaces in the names. Okay. And then I click up here on my sales territory name, slicer, I go to report connections. Now there's already some other ones done in this, so I probably will need to go down there, see what it says, bottom 10, bottom 10 demo and top 10 demo. And I want you to notice here is that when I click then on each ones, these in turn, you see it affects, it impacts on both of them. Okay, so this is the first bit we've done. So this is our kind of like our calculation set. In the next video, what we're going to look at is how we're actually going to construct our um, dashboard with various drop downs and so on. All right. And again, don't forget, you can use this to clear everything and reset it. Okay, mind yourself, take care. See you in the next video.